Hey everyone, this is your daily dose of medicine and in this video, I'll be talking about human bites. Human bites are pretty dangerous and it's commonly causing multimicrobial infections, including aerobic and anaerobic bacteria. And it can be as dangerous as or even more dangerous than animal bites because of the types of bacteria and viruses contained in human mouth. And a bite may be mild, moderate, or severe. You may have breaks in the skin, with or without blood. Bruising may also occur. And depending on the location of the bite, you might have injury to a joint or tendon. And there are certain signs that can tell you if your wound has been infected. And those signs are intense pain and swelling, pass around the wound, if the wound feels warm to touch, and if it's hot, the wound is likely infected. Reddening of the skin, and that is also known as erythema, in the wounded area. A fever, chills, or generally feeling unwell. Those are the common signs of infection. And it's pretty common, about one-third of all hand infections are caused by human bite wounds and human bites have been shown to transmit a couple of diseases and those diseases are hepatitis b hepatitis c herpes simplex virus syphilis and tuberculosis actinomycosis and tetanus and evidence suggests transmission of hiv through human bites is possible but very unlikely and Human saliva is known to contain as many as 50 species of bacteria. And the common organisms are Streptococci, Staphylococcus aureus, Eichanella corridans, which we'll be talking about. It's an important bacteria related to human bites. Fusobacterium, and lastly, Prevotella. Let's talk about Eichanella corridans. It's a commensal of the human mouth and upper respiratory tract. And infections most commonly occur in patients with cancers of the head and neck, but can occur in human bite infections, especially reverse bite, fight bite, or clenched fist injuries. So this bacteria is commonly causing this signs and symptoms that we are seeing in human bites. It can also cause infections in insulin-dependent diabetics and intravenous drug users who lick their needles. And this disease, also known as needle lickers osteomyelitis, it's one of the hazy group of infections. And you can find the other bacteria from here. And those bacteria are common cause of culture-negative endocarditis. And I'll quickly summarize the management, but you can find more about it from this link. I'll add this link into the description. The first step in management is cleansing of the wound and irrigation with saline. And coamoxilab is recommended as for animal bites. And in this drug, we are combining amoxicillin with clavulonic acid for killing the bacteria. And any bites that puncture the skin deeper than one centimeter also require an immediate tetanus shot. You'll need to follow up with your doctor 24 to 72 hours and even qu quicker if you begin noticing any signs of infection. You can find the signs of infection from our video. The risk of viral infections such as HIV and hepatitis C should also be considered. And those are the things that I can say about it. And if you liked it, please push that like button, subscribe to my channel and see you on the next video.